to the other side of the road here, and things seem to be calming down. Judge? All right. Thanks so much, Jonathan. The Dallas Police Department has been recognized as a national leader in community policing. When Chief David Brown took office in 2010, he implemented a series of reforms meant to improve relations between the force and the people they protect. John Matthews is a former Dallas police officer and the Community Safety Institute's executive director. He joins me now. Um, you know, John, I want to ask you uh, a question. Just based on that report we heard from Jonathan Seri in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, police uh, confronting protesters at a busy intersection, saying with a bullhorn that uh, they'll be arrested if, if they try to stop traffic. Uh, what Jonathan just said was, you know, that when the police showed up in riot gear, the protesters seemed to be, as he said, it all riled up. Tell us what the impact of things like riot gear uh, and other, you know, protections that the police need in the event that they are now being targets of assassins. How does it impact their ability to engage in community policing? Well, I think the riot gear is there, of course, to protect the officers, to keep them safe. And, uh, you know, I've been to different protests before, and then officers showed up in riot gear. To me, it seems like the protesters get loud when the TV camera show up and go on. Um, you know, but one of the tenets of community police is we want to make the police approachable. And so a, a protest like this in an environment like we've had over the last 48 hours, over the last week, and over the last several months, um, these officers are just trying to be safe. They want to protect the public, and they don't want uh, to be a victim like we saw here in Dallas the other night. And uh, apparently, uh, you know, we're hearing now about a new Black Panthers uh, organization and uh, a new Black Panther threat. Uh, and Black Lives Matters as well. Uh, do you see these organizations gaining more strength in the future? Or do you think that this assassination of five cops and the shooting at seven others uh, is, is almost a, a, a point where people say this has to stop? Well, I hope it's a point where they say it has to stop, the violence has to stop, and the communities have to come together. Let me tell you what I witnessed just a few minutes ago as we're waiting to go on the air. You've got altars right behind me protecting one of the deadliest crime scenes we've ever had in the history of this city and certainly in the history of this department. And the tensions are very high. These altars have not even had an opportunity to grieve for their fellow officers. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're guarding these posts and citizens are coming up to them and they're giving them water and they're, they're giving them hugs. And a few minutes ago, I saw the cops take time, move the barricade over and took pictures with a, a group of kids who came by. That's what we want to see. Is we want to see those positive police community relations. We want that to make the news. We want people to highlight the good things that are going on and the, the bridges that we're building with the community. Are there concerns? Of course there are concerns. And both sides need to sit down across the table and visit with each other and address the concerns. But it's that bridge building and that partnership. That's what we want to come out well, of this. And, and you we know, John Matthews, to your credit in Dallas and to Chief uh, Brown's credit, that's what was accomplished in Dallas. And, and hopefully other cities will be able to do that. But I, I got to tell you, police now feel they've got a target on their back and they've got to protect themselves. Uh, I hope the community policing can continue because I do believe in it. All right, John Matthews, thanks for being with us. Uh, and on Saturday at a NATO summit in Poland, President Obama said he did not believe the United States was, quote, as divided as some have suggested. We have a talk show host, host Coco Sudak joins me now. All right, uh, good evening, Coco. You know, I thought... I think, to be honest with you, that uh, there is more division in the country than there's been in a long time. And, and you know, I, I like wishful thinking, too. But the reality is that five cops, five white cops were shot and killed by a racist uh, who said he was doing it in the name of Black Lives Matters. Uh, no, that's not what he said. No, that's not what he said. The, the shooter had a, had a grudge against Black Lives Matter. The shooter was a crazy loner criminal who had too many guns and had some mental illness issues. And he specifically said he had it in for Black Lives Matter. He didn't do this for Black Lives Matter. He no, was a no, crazy Coco, person. Coco, and he doesn't you know, represent Coco, the African American Coco, community. He said he had it in for white cops. He said he didn't say he had it in for white cops. Black Lives Matter.
this matter. Get out of what? Get your pants break. Oh, go on. Why have a conversation? I specifically would not be a racist to me. He did he write any Black Lives Matter. He did not. I don't know. Did you write letters to him? Because this guy did not say that to the cops. That is what he said. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's move on. Because I want to I wanna talk to you. Was he a racist? The shooter? I mean, it was certainly crazy. Was he a racist? Was he a racist? Wait a minute. How do you know he was crazy? How do you know uh, he was crazy? I just tell you, I think he was a racist. He made he made prejudice. He made, he was prejudiced against people based on their ethnicity. Why don't you just say that he's yes, people that makes him a racist. But, but he doesn't represent the black community. He was I a crazy guy. I asked him if he was a racist. The answer is yes or no. What is the answer? Yes. 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 All right. Now. Are more whites shot by police than blacks? This is a trick question, right? No. No, Coco, it's Look, not. Judge, are you going to tell me that you really think there isn't an issue with the way that, with the different experiences between whites and blacks in this country? You know what? If you listen to my open, what I said was that when we elected an African American president, we became colorblind. We didn't elect him once, we elected him twice. And all this digging up of hogwash and Jim Crow and slavery and everything else he wants to talk about is creating a division. You look oh. at Dallas. That woman said as a black woman she never felt as safe as she did in Dallas. All right? And the truth is that police are now the targets. And if that Black Lives Matter movement doesn't get on board and say they're angry when blacks kill blacks, it's only when a white cop kills a black or a black cop kills a black. That's anarchy. This whole thing is about anarchy. Right Judge, let me repeat, please. What? Judge, it is not anarchy. It's the opposite of anarchy. Black Lives Matter is a peaceful organization, a peaceful network of people trying to enforce the rule of law. Why? On what? Shooting white cops? Shooting white cops? Of African Americans. But Black Lives Matter did not kill those police, those people what in Dallas. Black, Black Lives do Matter didn't do that. A crazy loner oh, with a gun. gun. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Good morning, America. Oh, God. Good morning, America. <laughs> Surprise. Good morning. Greetings and salutations. I'm Grace Walking. Excuse me. I'm in the Holy Ghost. Something all oh, can experience. Oh, not just I. But then, you must care sincerely about what you do wrong. Ask God to forgive you and never do it again. Surprise! I am Pastor Spurgeon Caravajal Spray. Welcome. The Grace Walking Ministries, Grace Undefined. 
an unregistered church because I don't want government telling me what I can do and what I can't. I don't want them telling me that I gotta let you in because I don't. You closed the door on welcome way before I was born. And then your children carried that message through wide ground. Um, and everything is okay in America. Right, Crooked Hillary. Why can't we call her crooked? I want to understand why can't we call Hillary Rodham Clinton crooked, self-serving, egotistical, immoral, untrustworthy? Why can't we say these things about her? Because her warriors of lies, deceit, that is lie, deceit, which is Lucifer. Lucifer is the king of lies. I don't give a good god dang how you sugarcoat the bullshit. Lucifer is the king of lies, as God is the king of truth. Surprise. Um... You know, we had tourists in Palacios. They would come to see our birds. We had fishermen come out there. I think we did. And that was a population of 5,000. We did. This is a population of 2018. Surprise, their tourist of Westport, Washington is reflective of the type of community it is and what it offers. Um, what it offers. Now, I am covered in Henry completely. Completely, completely. Co I mean, I ain't talking to you. I ain't interested in you. Because God said you don't exist. But yet... You see something and you want a home because it ain't part of you. It never will be. For your free will shows your good time ain't fishing and getting drunk and acting a fool. Pass my right. oh, you queer and all kinds of bullshit. Well, let me tell you something as a motherfucking trans woman, you sons of bitches. A few stores. A man who says no, no, no and calls them quiz and stuff is the first one to lift his hemorrhoids for a male root. But that's, y'all don't believe in that. Y'all don't believe in that shit. Surprise, I was not scared. I was like, wow. This community is so beautiful that God stayed three extra days just to enjoy the rainbow. It is a night like a Portland night. Rain, 
be out on my veranda, my deck. That was in a veranda. We call them deck. My hood right there. Three sisters, St. Mount St. Helens. And the rain. And the wind making the leaves like they were feathers. Right now, the rain is just magnificent the way it's falling. And nourishing. Our treasures from God. I left the stuff in the truck. I, my hands hurt a lot. If it be God's will that that will be saved, then it will be saved. If it's not, then it's just another of Lucifer's strongholds. So, but they did it. Oh, they were. Very, very loud, very, even Orville said. He locked me in and he told me, don't come out. I'll be right back. I don't like being locked in. Well, I have already experienced locked in. And I'm glad he did it though, because they walked back. I guess they're the fish people. And they're from Washington. Well, go figure the shit. Go to the Ballards and you see how Washington treats their poor. Suffice. This is a new way of telling you you're fucking up without having to litigate. You know what I mean? I'm very proud of you. You were on time. Was that black boy on time? But he's politically correct, right? He can do what you can't do. Come in late, leave early, and do a mess of a job. And it's janitorial. Other bitches, the little white bitches, they can't handle the chemicals. What well, girls? I handled. <laughs> I handled waste. I mean, waste, baby. And you think I was terrible like these little girls? No, baby, you can ask anybody. I was in there with a, hey, give me a shovel, because you're paying me good money for this shit. And I paid for it, for I should have demanded safety equipment from the get-go. Anyway, You want to change, not because you want to change, because the Zen demands you change. You're like Bank of the Cascades. When that black son of bitch is up here from Oregon, everybody good. As soon as some bitch leaves, everybody back to status quo. Surprise. We spoke. Let me tell you something. You furnish nothing in my life, not even prayer. For the grace you hand me is your nasty. Nasty, nasty. I explain what I think I should explain, because I'm giving you what you're walking. You're telling me you there's not a Mexican bitch in your life fucking with you, not millions of them? <laughs> Tell me a lie. Oh, Reverend. Sammy, come here, Sammy, 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 come here. I love the name, Sammy. Oh, uh, Sammy Rodriguez. Puto, do you mind? I don't know you, so I'll call you queer. Because what you support is queer. Well, it is queer to support what is defined by scripture 
and law of man as criminal. So that's very queer of you, sir. Yo, Mexicans are terrorizing me because I'm walking my constitutional right. Reverend Samuel Rodriguez, <laughs> advocate for Lucifer. Yo, angels are terrorizing me. Ain't the first time, won't be the last time. Shit, I gotta get me some coffee. Oh, excuse me. Y'all hang with me, because this is real life. You know what I mean? I've had issues with police officers since I was 24 years old. Not because I'm a criminal, but because I'm true to me. And I don't put up with bullshit. But God dang it. To take a lot. To take a lot. And then they don't even have time to grieve. God, can you imagine the family? Oh my God, I cannot imagine. Cannot imagine. Orwell gets angry because I feel it so strongly. I feel it strongly because I'm of God. And black people, let me tell you something. I, you know, like Pastor Paul White says, be the path going forward. Well, y'all managed to do that because you forgot how you built this country. But yet you remember. Because daily they remind you. You have no value. Unless you land a job. Where the corporation has got to be politically correct. To build the statistics necessary. To say I am an equal opportunity employer. What do you do with that? Special privilege. Because there are millions of black Americans without jobs. What the fuck you do when a corporation running a politically correct and filling the quota required for I am equal opportunity? What do you do? Do you clock in early or even before time? I know a white man that does. The name is Oliver Spray. Do you find ways to make it easier and quicker? Speed and flexibility. No. Uh, black America. It's a. It's worse than the Fed. It's undefined what you go through. I know. I know nature's inconvenience. Fucking knows. Guys. This is your fucking free will. No, let's be accountable here. If you cannot go with the program of civilized society, which it is not civilized. Uh, I'm looking at Judge Janine and it's like, it's not civilized. And it's bullshit. Anyway. God dang, we're gonna have to get more weed. God dang, this shit is bunk. How you doing, Governor Jay Inslee? What the fuck can you do, boy? Do you do the tango? The weed is shit. In a state where it's legal. The weed is shit. Or may have Thursdays and Fridays off. I, um, we spoke about it. And I told him, you should give the Friday to one of the kids. You know, the boys, they, they, they need time to go out and party, you know, do what they do. <laughs> it's scary. 
But uh, he said, no, he has. I said, well, he we, we kept on Thursday. Because it'd be nice to go do laundry when not human trafficking is knocking on your door. And hopefully the ball-headed drag queen won't be there. And Friday, I want, oh, I got to convince Orville. <laughs> I want, on this next day all, to go to Ocean Shores, stay in the park. We got a tent. Patches, <laughs> she's fucking feral. She's climbing the walls. They're in here 24-7. Oslo. She's gluttoning. She's got to get out. Uh, we, we talked about it. He agreed. Uh, we got Discovery Pass. I can get another Discovery. I'm disabled. In fact, I got a Discovery. <sighs> Governor Eastley. Second term governor, third term governor. Have you heard of Juan Kulangoski? Of Sodomite Oak. Ow. God dang it, I gotta make the copy. Oh, uh, I wanna explain something. For your pleasure, you found it in the legs of perversion. And because everyone said it's okay. And you enjoy it. You call it godly. Well, it's not godly. And it's okay to say it's not godly. You're fucking killing cops? You're already killing each other. What's wrong with you people? And where are the fucking black preachers? Oh, here's Janine. It's America's overwhelmingly held for the man lying to his color. His color made no difference to America's oh. voters. Long past the issue of race. Voters long past the Civil War, long past the Civil Rights era, focus more on the content of the character than the color of the skin. With this week's shooting of 12 police officers and two civilians in Dallas is a reflection of a new deep division created by that very man. The shooting in Dallas was not just about racism. Make no mistake, that dirtbag shooter, who will remain nameless in this open, was a racist. An African American, he wanted to kill only white people, especially white officers. And the shooting in Dallas wasn't just about police brutality. I got news for you folks. Police brutality is colorblind. It crosses all racial and ethnic lines. I know I've prosecuted them. And it wasn't just about someone mentally ill. I've always found that stigma too easy an excuse for evil. And it wasn't about guns either. Dallas was about anarchy. It was about lawlessness. It was about rhetoric. The rhetoric that too easily inflames those who feel wronged. Rhetoric that does nothing but repeatedly stoke the flames and scars of old wounds resolved long ago. At a time when Americans were both experiencing and fearing the reality of a Muslim jihad against us, our president, at a prayer breakfast no less, attempts to reconcile or explain murders in the name of Allah with this. And lest we get on our high horse and think this is unique to some other place, remember that during the Crusades and the Inquisition, People committed terrible deeds in the name of Christ. In our home country, slavery and Jim Crow all too often were justified in the name of Christ. 
And after the shooting of 12 police officers, he seeks to again remind us not of the situation of the 12 officers shot, the shooting and the injured and the trauma that surrounded it, but instead talks of the deaths of two African Americans. A follow up that seems like another get off your high horse, folks, it's your turn. Americans of all races and all backgrounds are also rightly saddened and angered about the deaths of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile and about the larger persistent problem of African Americans and Latinos uh, being treated differently in our criminal justice system. The problems of African Americans and Latinos being treated different, uh, treated differently in our criminal justice system. Every chance he gets, he stokes the flames. Example: Trayvon Martin, followed by a not guilty verdict. And Ferguson's Michael Brown, a thug who tried to grab a cop's gun and got himself shot. There wasn't even a grand jury indictment and not even federal charges against the police officer. The Ferguson was about anarchy. And anyone with a functioning brain would have to assume that for Michael Brown to grab a cop's gun suggests it wasn't his first encounter with the law. <laughs> who told Brown that he and not the law should be controlled? Yet the Department of Justice and the Attorney General and high-end government officials all rushed to Ferguson to his funeral as well. And Baltimore, another training ground for anarchists, a perceived wrong. The response based on rhetoric of racial injustice and hate, that should be a violent protest? The response should be the burning of businesses, many owned by African Americans? And a DA who outrageously runs to a microphone and announces an indictment of six cops saying she hears the calls of a lawless mob? And again, all the police painted as racist had no convictions, and it was an African-American judge who made the calls. And in New York, the champ, what do we want, dead cops? What oh do we my want God. Them now? And then two cops innocently eating lunch in their squad car, assassinated not long after. When we have leaders who vehemently support the First Amendment language and protest the call for the deaths of those who wear the badge, but then caution the rest of us not to say something that would offend another's religion. And if in fact we defend the legal right of a person to insult another's religion, we're equally obligated to use our free speech to condemn such insults and stand shoulder to shoulder with religious communities, particularly religious minorities who are targets of such attacks. And our president, upon hearing of the assassination of five Obama. police officers Thanks, all Obama. Obama. and the shooting of another we can't say the truth. wants to talk about a white kid looking into a black church shooting. By Mr. President, we are cannot you bringing this up? say the truth. It's the same thing you did at the prayer breakfast. And yeah, the American has his head cut off. You want to talk about the crusades. It's as if it's your turn. Mr. President, you have done nothing but tell us we deserve it. You have done nothing but look back oh, in the rearview mirror. Bullshit. But when I look at Dallas, all I saw were whites and blacks running away from anarchy. All I saw were whites and blacks picking each other up. That's the America I see. <coughs> it's going to change my mind. And <coughs> not even you, Mr. President, is going to do that. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on Facebook or Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine. And with me now, live from Dallas, Rod Wheeler, a former DC homicide detective, Fox News contributor. Uh, good evening, Rod. As I prepare to go meet my husband, make my presence. For well, he has an obligation, and he's going to meet it. And he's going to benefit, too, and I'm going to benefit, both of us, greatly. But, but, I'm not going to accept 
the status quo that is a normal for Westport. I'm looking for my hat. <laughs> oh, here it is. For Westport, I'm not. I don't want you in my home or in my church, molest my supper table. Your children are the worst I've ever met. The worst I've ever met. Oh. And there's nothing that can be done about it. Oh. America, I feel for these cops. I feel for them. We see them. Cops coming one way, the criminals going the other way. It's bullshit. Anyway, let me put this up. I'll make it so happy. We got a fan. Oh, I got to talk to Mr. V, which I don't want to. About how to operate their washing machine. I don't want to do anything to harm it. It's a good thing to have. I wash Orville's pants and stuff here and blankets and stuff. You know, I'll do it the laundromat. America, you lied this bullshit. You did. You did. I was working three, two or three jobs. I was doing the American dream. These Mexicans are dangerous. They're lethal. At Walmart, right at the door, I was stunned. I mean, they weren't shopping. They weren't doing anything. They were there. And then they the con. They will cry as they tear our bell of rice that we're racist. Well, motherfuckers, let me tell you something. It's not racist to say America first. In grace of God be blessed, in a man's of man. If I could bottle the feeling of being in a bubble, seeing everything that's fucking, you know, sin, lust, more sin, more bullshit, as God sends tears from heaven. The comfort. And I got an earphone. Sony, I'm giving you a chance. More than I'm going to give H faith when I'm done with them. And Comcast Xfinity, baby, not even. If we were free. Surprise, I got to get things. I got to get going. Oh. i tell you about the altar of the seat. So you can go there. You can go there, and you can return to God. Baby, it's not difficult. It's not nothing. You don't, listen, talk to God where you're at. Talk to God where you're at. I don't give a fuck how you feel. You feel angry, you talk angry to God. Because he already know you're going to be bitching at him. If you feel thankful, tell him. You want something? Thank you, Lord. If it be your will, if not, give me the strength to understand. Because you're a greedy bunch of sons of bitches. You don't get what you want immediately. God who? That's what y'all are about. Anyway, in grace of God, be blessed. Amen, amen. Um... I want to go stay at that park, reserve it for Friday. I think he has Thursday and Friday off. Oh, uh, reserve it for Thursday. He gets paid Friday. Have a nice time. Be out around around grace and prayers. Uh, hopefully there won't be too many people. I don't. I'm going to the wilderness to be closer to my God, but it may not be able to walk. Oh, I've decided to cancel Gracia's class. Gracia, we donate that money for another puppy that might want to go. 
you have proved time and time, time and again for love and months. Women, you have issues. And it's reflected in your children. For in ocean shores, uh, a woman, how am I come out? Not rich, but you know, with four adult teenagers. One in the fucking married man. Glory be. Or in Washington. Anyway, America, all we can do is be there for our country and God. Do our best. To change what cannot be changed. And retreat. Be careful who you call friend. For well, one day they will be your enemy. America, what is walking? She is a warlock, which is <laughs> cat. Um, like over says, be a good little witch. Kiss my black ass. At that blue house. They stood outside waiting for him. When he was still up there. He would go read the meters, which they don't do anymore. I don't believe. <coughs> <coughs> and that little midget Mexican that works the freezer. Oh my god, they got David in the freezer. That little midget that works the freezer. Karma's little whatever. No, baby. Y'all terrorized me too fucking long. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My family. Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, 4153. Uh, Y'all be blessed. And America. You support who? And then you talk to God about it. You talk to God about it. You support who? God dang, his mother was a whore, madam. Oh, please. Give me a break. In grace of God, be blessed. Amen. I hope this shit turns off. <laughs>